Humans has many organs and structures exist in pairs, like your lungs, kidneys, and also gonads, which are your reproductive organs, testicle in boys, ovary in girls. But have you ever thought what will happen if one of them fails? Will you be normal just fine? Will you lose just half of your function or all of it? Or somewhere in between? Let's find out in the random factory. In a normal human female, ovaries are developed before birth and mature at the puberty period. After puberty, ovaries is one of the controlling centre of female's period and also responsible for ovulation, which is the release of eggs or ovum around once per month. This gives a female her fertility and also, well, rather unpleasant menstruation. So, we know that in normal situations, ovaries release eggs and produce sex hormones. What if one of them is disabled? There are many mechanisms that can cause ovaries to fail and be disabled, like physical injury or rare occasions like infection. The most common reason is due to the formation of ovarian cyst, which means a closed sac that contains fluid, air or anything but pus within it, because we call pus-containing sac abscess. Normally, a cyst would resolve itself, but if it does not, you might need to seek for a surgery as it could cause damage to nearby tissue or even develop into tumour though not common as most cysts stay benign. In all those situations, it's relatively uncommon to have both ovaries disabled. So, now what will happen after an unfortunate lady got ovarectomy, which means the removal of ovary? Well, in terms of hormones production, you might find yourself a little bit uncomfortable shortly after the surgery, but it would subside very soon and you would feel normal again. Unlike bilateral ovarectomy, which means both ovaries removed, a patient with one ovary left could still produce respective sex hormones. But it takes time for the newly single ovary to adapt, which means with one ovary removed, your hormones would still be fine eventually. So how about ovulation? Well, you would still get one egg per month, just like normal female does. Common belief would think that ovaries take turn producing eggs, which makes one ovary produces one egg per two menstruation cycle. But that's completely wrong. The fact is that ovaries ovulate according to hormones level. Before ovulation, your body would have higher concentration of hormones that encourage ovulation. And once an egg is released, the structure that used to contain the egg in the ovary would form a thing called corpus luteum or yellow body, which inhibits the production of subsequent egg in the rest of the menstruation cycle. So it is actually a 50-50 chance which ovary produces an egg first, then suppress itself and the other ovary to not ovulate. Hence, if one of the ovaries is absent, the whole cycle would work just fine. For other effects such as capability of pregnancy and menopause timing, the effect is minimal as well. Having one ovary removed has almost no effect on affecting pregnancy ability as eggs are still being produced and the major organ for nurturing fetus, the uterus, is basically unrelated to whatever causes that makes one of the ovaries fail. Also, there is no obvious relationship between early onset of menopause and unilateral ovarectomy. Researchers find that there are either no effect on timing of menopause or at most one year earlier, which are the factors such as genetic factor could easily outweigh it. So, with one ovary lost, turns out isn't that unfortunate after all, except the part that you might need to pay your surgery and take a surgery. Thanks for visiting the Random Factory. If you have any questions regarding to this topic or a completely different fact, please feel free to leave a comment or send an email.